this is Steve Melvin, Extension Educator with the University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension. Today I'm in an inner seeded cover crop field that we seeded about four days ago. This is a project that is a joint effort between UNL Extension, the Upper Big Blue NRD, and the Nature Conservancy. About four days ago we seeded this crop into some corn. And so let's take a look at what we can see as far as what's come up already. As you can see, the crops are just starting to come up. And we should have a good stand here in just a few days. Now that we're back in the studio, let's take a look at some close-up photos of the seedlings coming up in a field that was planted the next day. The drill that was used to plant these fields was manufactured by Interseeder Technologies and has a ripple coulter up front to cut the residue and till a narrow strip of soil. A double disc opener then provides an opening to put the seed into, followed by a wheel that firms the soil and provides depth control. We purchased a four row unit to allow us to plant strips in farmer fields involved in the UNL on-farm research projects. This year, 11 fields were planted in central Nebraska as part of the project. The ripple coulter does provide a fair amount of soil disturbance, but not enough to provide an effective cultivation treatment. Even with more residue, the soil disturbance may be more than a no-till farmer wants. A smooth coulter might be a better option for no-till. The drill has a large seed box and a small seed box for better options to meter the seed and plant them at the desired depths. The large seed can be metered separately and planted deeper than the smaller seed. We are very excited about the project because we have had several farmers comment they would like to use cover crops in their corn bean rotation, but are just not able to get them planted early enough in the fall after harvest. We plan to have several more updates as we progress through this growing season so you can see how interseeding works in Nebraska. 